All right, welcome everybody. I'm just gonna show you guys a pretty cool little um, activity. Uh, what I would call a discovery process of just getting your hands on some creative um, forms, some geometry. So let me show off my first version here, how this all started. So this is called um, Tensegrity. Okay, and so the cool thing about the Tensegrity is it, it kind of forces your brain into a whole system's thinking because we've got the tension and compression situations happening. The straws aren't touching each other. Okay, three-dimensional space. And this this build, I wouldn't recommend this particular build, but I want to go through how I basically use scissors to create a notch uh, at 180 degrees apart from each other, and then that allows the rubber bands to insert into the top here. And I don't know if we're going to get the good focus or not, but that was this is where it started. So this is my first build on this particular one. Um, and I'm new to this topic, so that's why it's a good place for me to start, to just, this is where I started. There's other modules you can build. There's many different configurations. Uh, I want to look at the tower. The tower looks cool. It's a combination of two different parts that just interlock back and forth. Um, I've got to do a little bit more developing. This method's not going to necessarily work that great with that. Um, an ideal solution if, is if I can find some um, little screws that have eyelets. And then you can run some um, string through. So let me get you a parts list. Um, that was my first build. This was my second build. Um, this is using popsicle sticks. And then I, I went ahead and still used straws for the same purpose. But I'm not using hollow straws like I did in this guy. The reason this one was so hard to put together is if you bend the straw on accident. Anytime while you're putting it together, it will fold and collapse the whole structure. So this is like a super lightweight little guy right here. And um, this one's a little heavier, but I really like how they, they have this spongy, kind of organic, bouncy. They're real tactile. You can put your hand in there. Um, you know, it's just, it's really neat experiment and it's, it's challenging. So this isn't super, super easy what I'm about to show you and wish me luck because um, you know, you can, these things can fly around. They, because there's tension on the strings, you can shoot them in someone's eye. So it's all fun and games until someone gets their eye poked out, right? So I do recommend safety glasses. Um, I don't even, I don't have my glasses on right now. I probably should get them on. And then this is the one that, uh, my third version, I'm actually using this, uh, clear stretchy string. So I'd say at this point I'm getting fancy, but this is what I've got on that. And it's really cool. You just got to make sure when you're cutting your links that you're standardizing your cuts and your measurements because you want the tensions, you want the tensions between each connection to be as close to tuned up as possible. And I have a few tricks on how to get it tuned up, if, but I'm not real perfect at it. As you can see, like sometimes you just can't get them perfectly lined up and that's just because of the variance and tensions you can do some adjusting here and there but so this is what i'm going to show you how to basically do but i'm going to just do rubber bands because you can see it better um so obviously you need scotch tape and this message is brought to you by scotch tape and i'm going to tell you why um they make a really terrible case, like the, the way this whole thing is. And I just want to recommend a scotch tape to use your own product and uh, improve your product. Just put a piece of tape right there. And if you guys are feeling, if you guys in the manufacturing warehouse are feeling up for it, I mean, you might as well just put one down here too. So I'm trying to be funny, but I'm also serious because these things are crappy. Um, and then obviously our rubber bands scotch tape, scissors. Um, the scissors I'm going to use for cutting straw. Um, so basically cut some pieces of straw like this. I'm going to put those on the end. Uh, find one. Okay, we're going to we're going to make this. So it's got two pieces of straw on the end as the connections and then 
we got a nice, and you, you can kind of tell when it's balanced, when it doesn't really move much, or when the areas are the same here. So we're going to make six of those, but I'm only going to make, I'm just going to show you what I do here. I mean, it's just real easy. I just put this on, and you know, you want to leave, okay, so if that's flush, I'm moving it up, maybe you can see it in the light. I, I put a pretty good amount on there. You can always cut that back later, so it's better to have more than not enough. If you go too short here, your rubber bands won't stick. So you just gotta kinda play with that. But that looks good. Right about there, and then I just take a small piece of tape, nothing crazy. And just wrap that around. And then you do that on both sides. Um, there's a little trick that I found works real good here. So because the this particular straw has the red and blue lines, I like to line up the blue line as best as possible. And it doesn't you don't have to do this. This is just I can get the shadows to stop messing with me. So I'll do something like that. And then once you've taped it, once you've taped it on, I'll just pick a color. In this case, let's just do blue because that's my favorite color. And I'll just, let's see, you know, just, that's it. And do that on both sides. Okay. And then you take your rubber band like that and find your groove. Okay. So you just put that in there like that. And, oh, I didn't tape that one on. Anyways, you do that on both sides. All right, now the fun stuff. You get six of these. You do that on both sides, you get six of these. And here's where I need to just chill out for a minute and see if I can get this working. Um, it's actually pretty fun to, to figure this out. We're just gonna start with one and we're gonna pick up our second one and Find a rubber band in the middle, midpoint, as much to the midpoint as possible as you can eyeball it. We're going to do that twice. So the first stick, this is the second, and this is the third. So the two and the three are going to be here. I'm going to try to call them by number because sometimes it gets confusing. Um, Alright, and if you've... And if you've given yourself enough room... It'll stay into place fairly well. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same one. Our, our number four. Our number four is going to finish the eye. And so I think the easiest way to do this. Let's see. Just hold it up like that. And then it's kind of a. It's kind of got a little life of its own here. And having help. Having a second pair of hands to stabilize the bottom, all that will make it much easier. Doing this by myself was a kind of a challenge the first time, and it does take some patience. This is um, definitely not super easy, so I'm not trying to tell you guys it's super easy. It's just super fun. Um, I like working with geometries and getting my hands. You know, you can start to feel it. You know, you can start to feel like. Right now it's at its low energy state, but we're going to start to put tension on these members in the right way and in the right order to expand the shape. Okay, so once we've got that, one here, one here, and two vertical, we're going to put five and six on either side, but we're only going to attach to the bottom rubber band. We're going to leave this, um, let's just call that the third, we're going to leave number three le uh, loose so that we can pull it up in the next step. So this is kind of hard because it's on the ground, but I like to go ahead and pick it up. And then just with a little bit of twisting here, you can find your opening. So there's a couple ways. You'll, you'll start to figure out how to manipulate. And once you get good at this, I think you could put one of these together and I mean, under 15 minutes. I mean, maybe even 10 minutes. Maybe 15. Probably a good idea. I'm trying to keep this under 15. I don't know where we're at. We're already at 10 minutes. 
Um, all right, so we got all six pieces in place. That's all we're using. And then at this point, we got to be real careful because we're going to start to pull, pull on things. So I'm going to pull these two blue rubber bands on number three, and I'm going to get my pinkies underneath it. And I'm going to try to stay to the center. Okay, I'm just going to try to stay to the center because this whole thing wants to wobble back and forth a little. So I'm just pulling these two up. Everything else, I'm just pulling this up, but there's tension on here, so we've got like a little, you have to be careful what you're doing. Okay, and then you get to this point, and I like to put two fingers there to hold it in place and to balance it. You can kind of do some balancing here. You can move these back and forth um, and get it straight as possible. And then from here, I'm just finding that. And then do the same thing right here. Okay, now you can let go. We're in we're in balance. Nothing's going to nothing's going to fly apart at this point, but you still got to be careful. Um Yeah, so that's what we've got. Um and you'll also notice here at this point we can start to kind of pull these apart, but we're not doing that yet. What we're going to do is we're going to take these edges up here and we're going to connect them to the center to these rubber bands here. And this is kind of a tricky spot where you got to I don't know, it's hard to explain. This is where you just got to kind of play with it. Ah, see, that's what I'm talking about. So I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to pause this and see if I can get back to square one here. Okay, we're back to here again where I'm going to try to move these in to the center. It doesn't matter which set, but both at some point, but the, the trick here is when you turn these, that's going to mess with this up here. So it's actually, if you can get your hand around here and put some tension in on both of these. So that's kind of a, okay. So I'm going to hold it like this. You know, I'm holding it like this in order to ensure that these don't come off. And then at some point, I'm going to try to, Okay, this is, this is, might work. I got too much stuff in the way here. This is a good way to do it, maybe. Okay, come on. Yep. Okay, so when you do that, when this is connected, this whole thing wants to move now. So this is a whole different thing happening with my hands that I got to readjust for. Okay, so I just readjusted my thumb here because this is wanting to th fling out. So now we're going to take this one, do the same thing, keeping in mind that once that's connected, we've got new forces that we're dealing with. Okay, so at this point, I can keep the whole structure together real careful with just two fingers. Okay, so at that point, we've got this. Now I'm going to be bringing these two in to meet the rubber band here both sides and I like how I like how I got my situation it's looking good um, yeah every time I do this I find a little helper helpful trick okay I'm just trying to I don't know if there's shadows on here or what I guess my other hand is in the way I'm trying real hard not to shadow it up Okay, I think we're just about done, and I've got a minute left. Yeah, and be real careful. Let it sit there. Okay.